If you're new, this channel is all about the L.A. Chargers. Yes, we're Detroit Lions fans, but we live here in Michigan. We're big Michigan fans, and we're following Jim Harbaugh out to L.A., and we are all over it. Our main channel, Sports Talk Detroit, but this channel, all about the L.A. Chargers. And their latest move really is just another home run. Jim Harbaugh, we know, wants to run the football. And, and I'll prove to you here in just a second how good he is at immediately changing teams, franchises around, and they run the football. We know in football, you got to be able to run the ball and stop the run, right? That's like the essence of football. Every coach will tell you that. It doesn't matter what level, and that's what Jim Harbaugh does, and, and he's really good at it. So we'll talk about the hire and then what this looks like for free agency, the draft, and uh, really prove how Jim Harbaugh really turns things around so quickly. So they go out and they get Keel McDonald, and here's why I think this is so good. He's basically been a college coach for the last 10 years in Utah, excuse me, Eastern Washington, Utah, and then USC. Here's why this is so good. The Chargers have to, their running back room is just going to kind of reboot and it's going to get younger. They're going to have a veteran in there, of course, but Jim Harbaugh is going to want to find a running back. It's going to be a young guy. Why not get this guy? Super good recruiter. And we've seen that now with a few hires. The college guys are they're really the top recruiting guys. Just tells me they're good with people and they're a good fit just kind of within the building. And then this guy's just used to coaching younger guys. But then again, you have another kind of built-in scout, right? And I mean, he's not going to be doing a ton of the draft stuff. There's scouts and the GM and all that. But I'm saying you've got these college guys that have, can put some input, that have been able to see a lot of the college players, Jim Harbaugh included, of course. And so I just think they're going to knock the draft out of the park. I think he's going to be a great coach and developer and because that, this is a really important position, running back, right? This is what Jim Harbaugh is just known for and what he's going to do. So if you look at the draft prospects, and uh, this is what's kind of interesting to me, is you look at the top... So I'm going to get to it. Number one, Blake Corum. Now, we know Blake Corum, um, obviously, and, and Jim Harbaugh going to know each other very well. Blake Corum, to me, is a, a perfect pro running back. He is a tough, get yards, consistent, fall forward, always going to get two or three yards, like no matter what. You know, just no matter what, he's going to get a positive yards. Now, he's never going to be um, the game breaker over the top jameer gibbs like the lions have that's just going to be able to take it 70 yards but who cares not many are right and so blake quorum's there so you look at some of the running backs jonathan brooks um esteem irving any of these guys will be really good and again these college coaches have been coaching against them coaching them recruiting them so they're just going to have some insight on that and i think it's perfect now another thing that that Jim Harbaugh is going to do speaking of running backs, right? That's the theme of this. And by the way, we had fun with this. The other, the other video, if you, if you saw it, I asked you chargers fans, who is your favorite chargers player? Um, you know, kind of a sneaky one under the radar. Somebody said Quentin jammer. I love that one. I loved him. I thought the lions were going to draft him. Um, this was back, you know, whenever that was both teams were drafting high. I wanted so bad to get him. Um, and I don't remember why, because I get it. He was good, but I was just like, we gotta have him. And when the lions had all kinds of problems, I wanted a corner, but Quentin jammer, like guys like that, they're like, Oh yeah. Remember that. Let me know in the comments. So here is who the chargers can pursue in free agency. So we looked at the draft. We, I mean, we could spend a lot of time on that, but there's good running backs in the draft and it's fairly deep. I would say then you're going to get a, a free agent running back that can just kind of just to steady the room, if you will. So Gus Edwards, perfect. He's been with Greg Roman, Baltimore. Like, perfect. Perfect vet that can, it's not too old, but it's definitely older for a running back. 28 years old, 110-yard season, career high, 13 touchdowns. Like, everything about this is really good. And he knows that he's going to try to get one more contract, right? I mean, and, and he comes off all career highs, makes sense that maybe the Ravens would move off him, but he'd be a perfect fit for the Chargers. So I love that. Now, next thing is, and here's where I was going to talk about Jim Harbaugh and what he does. So he goes to Michigan, and the year before he gets to Michigan, the leading rusher at that time, and I don't expect you to know any of these names, but was Davion Smith, and he had 500 yards. 
And then Jim Harbaugh gets there, same running back, Davion Smith. And my point is, like, these are no-name running backs. And and he was a no-namer with Brady Hoke. And then Jim Harbaugh comes in, 800 yards. Boom, right? 800 yards. Now, that was for year one. Now, that second year, offensive line gets going. Here's the here's – the, this is where it's like, jeez. Jim Harbaugh, Davion Smith now. He's a senior now. 800 yards. Chris Evans, 600 yards. Ty Isaac, 400 yards. And Karan Karan Higdon, 400 yards. So Michigan pre-Jim Harbaugh had one guy go for 500 yards. Just a couple years later, they have four guys go at almost 500 or more. Four, right? So then, then you look at his next year. It just keeps getting better and better and better. And they just keep running the ball as you have... Karan Hignan, a thousand yards. Chris Evans, seven hundred yards. Ty Isaac, five hundred yards. Three guys over five hundred yards at one one thousand yard rusher. You keep going. Two thousand eighteen, and again, I don't expect you to know these names, and that's kind of the point. Is you've got a twelve hundred yard rusher, four hundred, two hundred. This is all on the same team, same guys, right? So or same team and just all the running backs. And then you go to this current year and this, this really this stretch that they've had where you've got Blake Corum, 1200 Donovan Edwards, 500 JJ McCarthy, Khalil Mullins, Alex orgy. They're all just running, running, running. And so the Jim Harbaugh is focused on the running backs. And, and the point I bring up about that is those running backs that I mentioned early on, just kind of no namers. They're all right. They weren't Blake Corum or Donovan Edwards for Michigan. And they're just, they look like different guys under Jim Harbaugh. Like, what? That guy's been on the team. Where's he been? Just physical and smart and patient. And the offensive line's really good. So it doesn't matter. I mean, it does, of course, who who your running back is, but it almost doesn't matter under Jim Harbaugh. He's going to make it happen. And that's what I love about watching him anywhere he goes. They just kind of run the ball, run the ball. It's second and five. It's third and one. I mean, it's crazy. And that was the last three years at Michigan was it was always third and one first down. Like crazy, right? And I know college and and pros is going to be different. But here's the difference. The Chargers have an elite quarterback. So now – you're running, you're running your play action off of that. I mean, it's just going to be really fun to watch. And then, and then Justin Herbert can even run a little bit, you know, again, this is not something you're going to be doing, but he's athletic, you know, he's just kind of, you got him sacked. He ends up scrambling and getting five yards like that. All stuff just adds up. And Jim Harbaugh just keeps putting the pressure on you. And he's always ahead of the chains and he never going backwards. And it's just hard to beat him. So that's the thing too. It's just hard to beat him. They may not, Chargers may not win every game next year, but they're going to be hard to beat. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and we'll see all of you on the next one.